Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Rosie's Reviews. Today I am going to dive into my June Ipsy Glam Bag and show you what I got and tell you how I like it so far. Now I said dive in to my June Ipsy Glam Bag because the June theme for this month's Glam Bag was Swim Into Beauty. Yeah, you caught that. You see what I did there. All right, well, let's look at the, the bag first. Now, this may not look real exciting to you on the screen, um, but let me show you on the other side. If you can kind of tell, um, there's an embossed uh, Ipsy names all over it. This is a really, really thick, thick and cushy bag. I really, really like this bag a lot. When I saw it online, I thought, it's a black bag with an orange zipper. But this is really... Um, cushy and I would say it's probably waterproof because it's vinyl on the inside and the outside is is kind of vinyl-y cushy. So this is a great travel bag and so I'm very happy to get this bag. So that this was a big a big win for me. All right let's look at the items that I got in the bag. First item is let me get this there we go the Aurora Gel Effect nail polish and the color that I received was four alarm fire which is obviously red. Now I haven't opened this yet um, and the reason why is that I am not a fan of getting nail polish in any of my Ipsy bags. Why is that? Because I get my nails done by professional. <laughs> now that sounds a little diva to some of you all out there but um, I do get gel nails done and so this is kind of an interesting thing. It is a regular nail polish that dries without a UV lamp um, that gives you a gel-like effect and is supposed to last for two weeks. And um, you can remove it with regular nail polish remover. So this is a, a nice nail polish and I love the color um, if I was doing my own nails. So I'm going to probably give this to a friend of mine um, so they can enjoy it. Um, but I, I typically just don't like nail polishes. So I rated this kind of low on the site so they would no, not to send me any more nail polish, but there was a lot of nail polish options in this month's sample, so I figured, you know, luck of the draw, I was going to end up with a nail polish. Now, this size of nail polish would uh, retail for probably about $8, so not a bad deal. I mean, it probably would last you quite a while. Um, another reason, I could probably take this to my nail salon and say, hey, can I use this polish, but I'll be honest. You all have watched my videos, you've probably seen my nails. I don't like to keep the same color on every time. I get bored with the color pretty easily, so it wouldn't work for me to, to be using this till it ran out. But somebody in my friend circle is gonna love getting this. All right, the next thing that we received, or I received, was the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this would retail uh, at this size for $9, calculating the size of a normal, um, you know, the normal size of this and then the, the sample size. Um, I, you know, I, I'm always surprised by primers because I'm just not that high maintenance when it comes to makeup. But um, I will show you that um, kind of the, the consistency of this. It's very um, gel-like, if you can kind of see. Um, it's very gel-like. Um, I've used it on, underneath my foundation and no, it's really no, uh, you know, it's fragrance-free. Um, it gives kind of a very um, smooth coverage. So once I put it on and then I apply my, my foundation, it stays on really well. Now, I use foundation, and I think I've mentioned this before, I use L'Oreal Infallible, which is a drugstore brand, and I really have great luck with it, so I don't a primer is not something I would buy, um, but if I, I mean, if I really, if I love samples like this, so I would definitely enjoy this sample as long as it lasts, but I probably would invest in it only because my foundation really holds really well without the primer, but if you want to use this, and if you want to go out with a very all natural look, they even say that you could wear this without foundation, but it just gives your skin a really smooth, um, smooth consistency evens out your skin before you apply your foundation so if that's something that's a big deal for you that maybe that you, you notice that your foundation doesn't stay on well this is a good this is a really good product I've heard of smash smash box before but I never tried any of their products and I really like this primer 
and this, like I said, $9. Um, okay, the next item is a brush. This is the Glamere Flat Top. Okay, we can put it this way so you can see. Flat Top Concealer Brush. Now, I love getting brushes in my Ipsy bag because, I mean, you know, you don't have to buy them, okay, because brushes can be expensive. Um, this uh, is actually on sale right now on the Glamere site for $6. It normally is around $13. So, I'm sure they're doing that as a promotion because they're, you know, they're in the Ipsy bags this month. Again, I rarely use a brush to put concealer on. I use the old fingers and, or the beauty blender. Um, but it's nice to have a brush that's specifically made to do concealer. And so I've used it. I really like it. Again, I wouldn't necessarily buy it, but now I have it. Um, and got my money's worth out of my Ipsy bag because now I've got a brush that I will hopefully take good care of and use it for my concealer. All right. The next item is the Lavanella Laboratories, the Healthy Body Butter in, pink, in Pure Vanilla. Now, this I love. Now, this would probably price out for this size about $250. And my first thing I will say about this is that when I first used it, I didn't think there was anything in the bottle. It, there's not enough in this sample. I would guess there is probably half of this half of this fill. There's just not a lot. It didn't. It just didn't come spewing out the first time. I, in fact, it was so bad. I tried to take the top off, thinking there was like a seal. Um, but there was. There wasn't. It just wasn't very full. So I, I'm a little disappointed in that because I love the smell of this body butter now. I'm going to tell you if I can get it to come out because I've used it a couple of times. So as you can tell, there's not a lot left. <laughs> I'd like to show you all the consistency of this. But literally, I mean, this is how it was the first time I squeezed squeeze it out. Okay. So there it is in all its glory right here. And if you notice, it's very lotion-y. It smells amazing. The smell of this, what they call body butter, is, I mean, it makes me think of my granny, and I can't explain why, you know, those, those, those fragrances that just bring back memories. It has this vintage vanilla smell to it. I love it, but not enough in this sample. I need more, um, and I think it's a little misnomer. It is not body butter, okay? Body butter is thick, almost a solid consistency. This is lotion. So I would be more apt to call this body lotion. And that's part of why I thought, well, maybe that's why it's not squeezing out because it's really thick. Mm -mm, no, there's just not a lot in this sample. So a little disappointed in that. Not a big fan of that, but love it. Like I love the smell. And, you know, that's probably the whole, re that's, that's the whole deal. They want you to try this sample that has very little in it and then go buy it for full price, which I don't know that I will. If I see a special, I might get it. But I love, oh my goodness. Like, I love the smell of this. The smell just, it makes me think of my granny, and I love my granny. So, Lavanella Laboratories, um, like I said, $250. There are no uh, parabens, no silicone, silicone, um, no, min there's um, mineral, no um, harsh chemicals. It's very pure. So, Lavanella Laboratories. All right, the last item that I got was... The Tracetique Trace Mini Shadow Crayon in Marimato Pink Pearl. And there is the color right there. Let's put it up against something that's a little darker because it's kind of a light color. Yeah. And I will swatch it so you can kind of see, which you're not going to see much because I'm telling you, it's very light. It's a pink pearl. And it's supposed to be made where you can build it up for more intensity, more vibrancy. So let me see if you can tell. See how it gets a little darker, almost gold-like? So, and wow, and it's very crayony. If you notice, just in that little swatch I did, um, look how it got a little angly. Um, I have it on my eyes today. I wore this today, and that's the only thing I wore. I didn't do any other contouring on my eyes. Um... It, it, the color, this color is light enough that I can wear it just as a solid color, which is, it's kind of nice, you know, and it's a normal day, I'm going to work, I may not want to be as dramatic with my eyeshadow, this is, this is actually a very good product to have for those kind of things. 
Um, some of the other Ipsy users got colors like green and gold. Um, I'm really glad, I'm very happy with this pink color because I like to have lighter colors that when I want to just be quick with my makeup and I want to just throw something on my eyes, I can do it and not have to worry too much about it. So applicator all in one, really nice product. Um, this would be about $11. Uh, they sell these mini crayons in trios. And so this for one would be $11. So right here, this is the money maker of the, the bag tonight, um, today, this morning, whenever you're watching this. Uh, this is the money maker because this was worth the ten dollars. So I would I would recommend this for sure. Um, I don't like I said I don't know if I would buy it, but I definitely enjoy using it and I like the consistency. It's very very creamy. So if you're looking for that kind of an eyeshadow, then this is this is for you. And the meat and the trios, the mini little mini the mini trio set you can get for thirty six dollars on their website on the Tristique website um, would be great for travel. So you can mix up the trio that you want and take it with you on the road. All right, so the total amount of the bag this month value came to $36.50. So more than three times the value of my Ipsy subscription at $10. So that's a bonus. That gives it a couple of points right there. If I had to rate the bag, I would probably give it a B minus. Um, I wouldn't give it a C because, you know, the concealer brush I'm going to get to keep. It's not going to go away. I'm not going to run out of it. Um, but the Lavanilla, I like, but there's not enough. Um, the nail polish, not a fan of nail polishes. So um, a couple of the products in here I was a little disappointed with, but overall um, I would give it probably a B minus. Um, because, again, the concealer brush and the eye crayon really redeemed the bag, which is great. So, if you are a member, a subscriber to Ipsy, let me know in the comment section below what did you like from your June Glam Bag? Um, what was your favorite product? And if you're not an Ipsy subscriber, I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you can join and, and join in the fun. Get your bag for $10 a month. It's like Christmas. I love it. Um, and then I'll also put links in the description box of all the sites, all of the brand sites for these products. So if you want to look up, um, maybe buy one of these yourself, or you might want to look and see what other products they have. Like I said, I want to say that the nail polish and the concealer brush are both on sale on these sites. So, you, you know, you just never know. You can go on there and get a really good deal um, and not even pay full price. And most all of these cosmetic sites, when you buy online, will include a free sample of something. Now, that's worth ordering online, right? All right, and if you um, have anything you'd like me to review, be sure to put it in the comment section below. I'd love to do a review for any products or anything, you name it. Just put it down in the comment section below. Be sure you give this video a thumbs up that you like it, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single one of my videos. All right, well, take care, YouTubers, and thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.